Hello, my name is Helena Kolkato Sabina and I'm from MBA 41 in Third 2 and I'm here to review a book from Edo Gawaran Po, Japanese Tale Mystery of Imagination that was published in 1966. Uh, this book is contain many story in it so it's not a full story book like that and then uh, it's basically like if you like thriller and uh, suspense mystery you have to read this book because this book is amazing like wow I cannot say anything about it so uh, my favorite part of this book is called um, the human chair so it's basically talk about let me just my it's basically talk about uh, a woman author of Japan. She published her book in the bookstore, and then uh, one time she bought a chair from a craftsman, and then she placed the chair in her study room. Uh, basically, she used the chair to write an, a book like that, article, and etc. And then uh, years later, she got an a uh, letter from the craftsman said that he truly adored her like he is a fan of her and then the the shocking part is that actually he lived in the chair that she bought years ago so basically when she said she sat on his lap like well i i cannot say anything when that part comes and i just like whoa like this you have to read this book this is just amazing so af so after that i want to talk about who is edo gawaranpo so edo gawaranpo is the pseudonym of traditional japanese outdoor and then interestingly enough uh, Ran ranpo only called it is trendy similar to edgar Allan Poe. that's why he called the japanese edgar Allan Poe. and uh, he worked as a number of odd jobs despite receiving a collaboration education before obtaining literary recognition thanks to the publication of one of his short theories in primarily Western literary magazine in Japan. And his first story is To Sand Copper Coin and was published in Shinshan and then in 1923 he got collaboration with Edgar Allan Poe and then Doyle. Uh, with the mystery genre, of course, because he is expert in, in mystery genre, and then uh, he began to gain popularity within the genre, and often considered to be the father of modern Japanese mystery. And many of his work uh, mirror Poe and Doyle in the time and the style of the writing itself. So that's why he called the Japanese or maybe ASEAN Edgar Allan Poe, I don't know. And then uh, I want to share uh, where should you start to reading uh, Edo Gawaran Poe's book. Uh, not many of his uh, book is translated into English, so it's a little bit difficult to read it. Uh, but one of their, uh, one of him, one of his book is translated into English that is the Edo Gawarampo Japanese style of mystery and imagination that's why I can read it uh, so uh, all of his work is impossible unless you know uh, Japanese for this and various short theories including like the two Zen uh, Cooper coin and the human chair that I talked uh, earlier and then the hell of mirrors the cards of pillar the hell of mirrors is basically like some scientists he tried to make a new optic like uh, optical machine like that but he got caught up in the machine and he turned to be crazy because he continuously staring at his uh, shadow like that and he just come out crazy after uh, he came out from the machine and that's it and then uh, you can pick up like uh, the collection which was tried through the cooperation Rampo and Translator and James Harris feature nine short stories that will interest you to Rampo different cells. So that is basically what is in Edo Gawaranpo, Japanese Tales of Mystery and Imagination. And you can get it from uh, Philip Blues. I can, I bought the book from Philip Blues and then also you can uh, buy from Amazon and something like uh, online bookstore like that.
okay that's it that i can say thank you